Hey guys, Steve Welch here again with Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Um, coming to you here uh, from downtown, of course. I am looking at this new Highlander here. Um, answering questions as I always do, of course, about the new kick door, uh, raising and lowering your back door, and then how to adjust your height. So um, this is going to help people for a long time to come on uh, on all of those answers. So uh, this is the Limited. Your Limited and your Platinum now have uh, what's known as a kick door. So um, I know a while ago another manufacturer had come out with one where you you would actually you'd sweep your your foot like this under the bumper. Um, that one I always thought was funny because you'd uh, you just have these visions of people holding uh, heavy bags and falling. Um, the new Highlander does not have that. What it is is it's a kick. So when you come this way, you just kick it. Once you do that, it's going to raise that back tailgate for you, and it's going to come up for you. So. Um, it is something that uh, is actually pretty uh, pretty easy. You're not going to go off balance um, or anything like that. And I just kicked it again, and you can see. So you can um, kick it closed, kick it open. So if you were uh, you know grabbing stuff out, you can close it with your foot. Um, now I'm going to show you the other way to actually do it. You have your pad down here. This is how it's always had. You hit that button, and it's going to raise it up. You also have jam protection. If it was to hit something, it's going to actually stop wherever it hit so um, that way you can clear it now i will show you under here too if you can kind of look real close this little button right there that little circle button that actually locks your door so by the way if you hit that same button that i just hit it's going to finish raising or you'd hit your down button at that point to you know change where you want it to go um, now this is the way you close it of course which is right there or you can obviously, like I said, use the kick or you can use your key. So you got several ways to do it. This is the key on it. Um, right here, you press and hold. Uh, three seconds, you'll raise it. Three seconds, you'll lower it. So um, that being said, kind of give you an idea of the operation there. And I'm gonna go to the front of the car here. I'm gonna go ahead and start us up. I wanted to show you how to adjust the back door. So. Um, Sometimes people live in a, where, where there's a carport or a garage that is just, uh, I'm gonna shut the door here to limit some noise, um, but there's just not enough room for the door to go all the way up, um, things along those lines. So what I'm gonna show you here is, I'm gonna hit this right here because it's saying seatbelt status, but um, if you look here, you can kind of scroll. Here, I'm gonna try to be back a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So you can scroll through all of these menus here and go to that gear. So once you get to that gear that is right there that I'm on, you'll see several things that you can turn on or turn off. I'm gonna end up going here to the right and I'm gonna go to the settings menu, which is right here. This is vehicle settings, all right? And I'm gonna press and hold the okay button. So now once I've pressed and held the okay button, you see where it says PBD. Power back door is what PBD is. Once you get in here, you can go into your settings, your kick sensor, so you can shut off the kick sensor if you want to. Um, opening adjustment volume. So that beep that you hear, you can adjust that volume for the beep. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit opening adjustment. So now what you'll see is I can actually change this adjustment. So um, to whatever I need to for whatever reason. So let's say that I'm in a carport and maybe I need to go to a three, all right? So now that I've done this, I'm gonna go ahead and also you can open and close your door right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and open this door. I'm gonna walk back here and you're gonna see that now the door without being jam protection, <clears throat> excuse me, has stopped right here. So you can change where it stops. You can change where it goes up to. I'm gonna close it again here. I'm gonna kick back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to opening adjustment again. And then just let's, let's play with it a little bit. I'm going to, uh, oops, I'm gonna go down to, let's go to number one, all right? Now, I've just closed the door. I'm gonna open her back up and you're gonna watch. So, one. So now I've opened it to one, which um, I've had some people ask me, why would you open it to just to one? Well, here's the thing. If you're hauling something that maybe is just a little bit big for the vehicle, you're not, you know, you can't really like uh, cinch down the door or something like that. That right there is a great option for if you have to do that. Definitely secure your load, by the way. Um, if that door is closed, make sure that you have a, a well-secured load, of course. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
shut that again and I'm gonna go back to my opening adjustment and I'm just hitting the up button by the way I'm gonna go back to five that way it doesn't really screw somebody up that doesn't understand the cars um, so that's you know like I said that's just the way to adjust open and uh, use every part of your rear door on your power back door and also so you know um, the lesser models like your SLE or XLE does not have the kick on it um, and I don't believe it's an option on that one I think it's just limited in the platinum but I could be wrong but I believe that's what it is from uh, everything that I've seen that's what it looks like um, but you still have the ability to adjust your door the exact same way that I just showed you there. So um, if it has a power back door, that is the way to adjust it. So um, whether or not you have the kick, it, it may or may not be on there, but that is your adjustment on the back door. So uh, hopefully this helped you guys to uh, understand the new Highlander and the uh, power back door, how to adjust it, how to use it, and uh, how awesome it can be for you. So Steve Welch, Beaven Toyota, downtown Nashville, definitely reach out to me here at the store. Um, if you guys need anything at all, I am definitely happy to help. Um, put some comments, uh, uh, in the the comments there i do try to respond to every comment that i see um also uh, uh likes and subscribes are highly highly appreciated so thank you guys once again hopefully i'm helping you to understand your vehicle uh, or your next vehicle when it comes to the 2020 and above highlander uh steve Wasby toyota you guys have a great day